Hello, welcome back. Uh, today we'll create the the vent. So let's do the images. Three. Don't forget like and subscribe. Off the channel up here in searches. Okay, highlight the the rear. Hold Z and three for faces. What we'll do is we'll just shift D that, duplicate it, and then separate by selection. Tab out of there, highlight the rear 001 F2 and call that tab one and then just line these vertices up and then we'll need a control on there slide that guy up there just pull it out of there control R this one here that one slide that over there that. Let's actually have a look at this. Right, so it seems to taper, doesn't it? So it seems to be maybe it's wider in the middle. Actually, we'll create this bit in the middle separate. So if we just create this outside first, yeah. And now we'll need a control R on there. Put one through the middle. Stay in that pocket just a little bit. Alright, now we have that lined up. Just turn off images for now. A for all. Make sure that's selected. And then do a G for grab, control, and in there. That has snapped to there. Alright, so. What we need to do is select these. If I separate these off, rather than creating another object with it, all we need to do is we can just do a right click, go to split. So it keeps it in the same um, object but separate faces. Or, or Y for the shortcut. And do an H to hide. Alright, so now do a 1, all. And we'll do an extrude. We'll just follow the blue line. And oh. I'll bring it up about there. We can easily move these back, can't we? JJ, slide them back along. According to the point, yes. Turn off the auto smooth. Actually, while we're here, we select all these outer faces, <laughs> edges. I'll just put a crease on there. And that inverts. Select right them. And if we do a GG again. Slide them back. It creates that shape. Don't mirror for now. Right, so let's see. I think that needs to be slightly tighter there to the image. Yeah, it's quite a tight edge there, isn't it? Right, so we'll do a control R there. Slide that back. Control R. Slide that one back. Tell you what. Will the images help you? Not really. And we'll do these ones at the front as well. Actually, 
Control R, right click on the first one, Control R, left click, and right click. And then we'll highlight that one again, and then we'll do a GG. E. And it goes to a point, so we don't want to get too close. And what we'll do is we'll add an edge in there also. Just to tighten that up there. For the back, put these ones here. They don't look right, so. All right then, for GG. I'll just say that back to the middle or so. Actually, we could do it with them ones also. GG. There we go. All right, yeah, I like that one and that one. GG. Finger and shift to slow it down. Just to curve the edge a little bit. That one and that one. Same again, GG. Shift to move it slowly. Okay, that edge a little bit. Could probably do that with the back also. I like that one. Do a GG. Just a little bit. There we go. Right, so Alt H. So we'll do a three with just these, oh, just these two selected. Make sure project on to self isn't on. J, Control, and just to make sure they are connected. In edges, I like this middle one. Now I'm going to create these. Fins, I guess, and there's ten there, I believe. So that's one there already. So we'll do a Control B for bevel, scale that out just to there, and then in here, since there's one already there, we need that to be twenty nine because we need an edge in between each fin. You'll see in a sec. Right, with all them selected, do a G, Control, Enter. That snaps them all to the, the surface again. Back into one. Actually, what we could do is we could add this edge in here. And the one here for that one in the back. Can't really see. forward a bit, so it matches him, that one there, oop, GG, mm, great, so this one, what you can do is, either as long as you're hovering over the vert C, if you press L, it'll select linked, or if you press a single one and nowhere near it, press Control L, right now we need to deselect every other line basically so we don't want that <laughs> do a shift h to hide inverted so alt shift deselect that one one two deselect that one and do the same all the way up now fingers crossed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely. Do I extrude? Let's go with that one. And pull it out just a little bit. Deselect these ones and um, go to normal and just slide that out on the X a little bit more. Right click. Smooth. There we go. Tell you what, do an L. Control L. And we'll move that out just a little bit. I've got an idea. Select the outside. Just 
let's prop it up global for now and then go extrude and take that into the body slightly and all edge to one height to sharpen them up see what that looks like with the three on and tightens that edge up nice and of course these are missed so up Selected Alt Shift Tie them. I would need to bring them back and mm, that's gonna be over now because it's got all them selected, isn't it? <laughs> Control Z, we'll just move it ourselves like that. And put another control R on there. There we go, Alt H. There we go, that's better. Oops, I want that one. Oh, I want <laughs> that one. Wait there a sec. Got an idea also. I like these. Because these are slightly in size of there like that. Save. And I'll catch you in the next one.